I'm losing my freaking mind right now. I'm just so excited. There has been so many ridiculous leaks about these new Silent Hill games that are apparently in development. We've seen concept art. We've heard of release dates. We've heard that it might be a PlayStation 5 exclusive or that one of these two games in development might be a remake of Silent Hill 2. Well, what's interesting is that this morning, it sounds like one of the Silent Hill games just had a sort of demo leak. It sounds like we're going to be getting a new trailer and a random playable teaser like PT Demo very, very soon. And I am losing my freaking mind. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here. Hi, hope you're having a great day. If you could like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm actually recording this video at 6.30 a.m. I randomly woke up and I just see the term Silent Hill trending worldwide. But why is that? Now, this is an article over on Gamatsu, and it says that Silent Hill, the short message, is rated in Korea. A wild Silent Hill game rating appears. Now, if you actually look at it, it seems like this would be very tiny, but it gives us a pretty big hint as to what's actually going on. We're going to go over here to Twitter to Aesthetic Gamer, aka Dusk Golem. This dude is the king of Silent Hill leaks. He's actually talked in detail about these games. He's just revealed so much top secret information, including pretty much every leaked screenshot or piece of concept art we have for these games is directly from this gentleman, and he says this, Do you think, pure speculation, that this could be a shadow announcement, or would it be like a TGS or PlayStation showcase? So there's been all these different rumors and stuff that PlayStation is preparing some other showcase. Uh, they obviously did their State of Play recently, where they showed off, in my opinion, a lot of very good games, a deep dive on PlayStation VR 2, and the very amazing God of War Ragnarok trailer, but there's still some sort of talks that there's about to be a different PlayStation showcase to show more of Final Fantasy 16 and to, I mean, realistically sell as many PlayStation 5s during this holiday season. Well, he said this, if Silent Hill the short message is indeed Sakura, which is the code name of this project, then likely it'll be announced and shadow dropped as a free experience. Where it'll be announced is up to speculation, but likely pretty soon. These Korean ratings often pop up a few weeks before they're shown. This has happened multiple times now, where inside of Korea, their ratings board takes a bit to finally post their listings. So sort of like companies will approach them and show them a teaser trailer, a bit of gameplay to sort of get it officially ready for launch, and then they put that on the storefronts. Sometimes we'll see it on the front end or the back end. Sometimes we see the public listings being published, or sometimes you'll just see a demo popping up inside the code. But what is this experience going to be? I do think that from everything I've heard, Konami is very, very mixed about the idea of the PT demo. They're sad about it because PT demo was so legendary. It's honestly still being talked about today, but the game never came out. Silent Hills obviously was never finished. And so now they almost live in the shadow of a playable teaser for a game that never came out. But on the other side of the coin, Konami loves the fame, the infamy, of PT Demo. The fact that this single hallway with one ghost and one creepy crying baby managed to become such a legendary status landmark in gaming horror, Konami loves that they were able to create that even if it was just such a short-lived experience. But let's talk about what this is probably going to be, because right here, Aesthetic Golem did a bit-by-bit -bit breakdown to show what this probably is going to be and how we're probably going to be playing it very, very soon. All right, so I'm excited for the Silent Hill short message rating in Korea, but let's go over it. First, this is 100% a video game. The copyright is for video game content to be released either on a video game console, PC, arcade, or mobile. No platform currently listed. As we can see here, it is not specified, but if anyone is fearing that this is a pachinko game or a movie, for example, firstly, pachinko is illegal in Korea, so it's definitely not that, but secondly, the rating is 100% for a video game because it needs to be released on video game platforms. Secondly, it has a mature content rating, not for kids. 
This rating was filed about a month ago in mid-August. Korean rating boards often leak video game projects a few weeks ahead of their announcement, which means that this likely is about to be released or shown in the next few weeks. The publisher is Yuaina, which is not surprising. They often publish Konami's games in Korea, like their free-to-play crappy esports uh, football soccer game. This is actually a high likelihood of being Sakura. Sakura was made as a free-to-play teaser. It also has an SMS messaging system. So a big aspect of this new Silent Hill game that uh, Dusk Golem has talked a lot about is that it's about text messaging. SMS, short message service. Think of this as when you send somebody those little tiny blips. These have existed actually for a very long time. Uh, Dusk Golem has leaked all sorts of different details and pictures and concept art, including the monster of this game. It does seem like this whole idea of short messages actually talking to you through your phone, actually sending you messages, maybe even in real life. He has talked that at some points there was talks that Konami wanted to make a horror game that could actually text you. So you'd be like at work or I'm editing one of my videos and then suddenly I'm getting a text message from Konima, Kojima where he's just lifting up his shirt and showing me a titty or something. Um, I like the idea of that like uh, more pervasive horror, true psychological horror that like breaks the boundaries of just this spookiness. It actually goes into making it where you feel disturbed and unsafe even in your real life. But let me go back here to this aesthetic golem teaser here. Sakura was made as a free-to-play teaser. It also has an SMS messaging system in it. So inside the game, obviously, we're going to be sending and receiving texts. I mentioned this last May with the screenshots I posted along with the names Anita and Maya. Without saying too much, this SMS system starts the story of Sakura, so that may be tangentially related. To see, I could also see it being something else. I haven't heard the name before, but Sakura has an internal code name for the project, so it was never set to be the final release name. Still incredibly intriguing times and seems up to line with the murmurs about the Silent Hill that's about to come out. Okay, so this is really interesting. Still an incredibly intriguing time seems to line up with the murmurs that the wait for Silent Hill is nearly up. Hmm. I mean... I'm beginning to completely believe two separate things at once. The PlayStation Showcase possibly being revealed soon seems incredibly cool. Obviously, I'd love to see a big, cool showcase. But additionally, I am just so fascinated about this Silent Hill game, this Silent Hill demo, this teaser to this next glance into the Silent Hill universe. Truly consider the fact that PT Demo came out in 2014. It's been eight years. It's been over 10 years since we had any sort of actual Silent Hill game. This is a new decade. This is a new era of horror. I mean, I'm still just kind of fascinated because I do truly love horror experiences. And it's interesting that all the different changes and developments, the rise of indie horror, the explosion of Let's Play horror, the streaming horror. I do feel like the interactivity of scares has changed the developable nature. I mean, it just feels like right now, horror as a game genre has pivoted. The Resident Evil remakes exist now, and everybody universally loves those. I'm kind of curious to see how Konami can match that intensity. How Konami plans to even sell a game with the Silent Hill name on it that's of any decent quality. But what are your thoughts on this? Are you excited for the next Silent Hill, or does this seem like another big old bag of malarkey? Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all, and keep dreaming. This is totally unrelated, or sort of related, but I've been, uh, rereading a lot of these amazing Silent Hill comics. Let me tell you, this. look at this. A Wild West Silent Hill. Look at that. That's cool as shit. Damn. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.